Hello, you guys. I just want to come in really quickly and do another patty melt because the last patty melt that I did really wasn't as delicious as I thought it could and should be. So, I don't have a broiler, so therefore I just used the microwave to melt the cheese on the tuna. And the last time, I spent a considerable amount of money on that bread that I used, and I really didn't like it. And I didn't want to spend that much money on some bread this time, especially when I don't eat bread that much. I have to put it in the freezer just to make sure it doesn't spoil. So this time, I just got some regular cheap bread. And I said, that's what it's going to be. And I was really kind of scared to um, even melt it, make it into a tuna meal because I don't love cheese on everything. I love it on enchiladas and lasagna and... Uh, a few other things, but I especially don't like it on hamburgers, and I'm not sure if I love, I'm not sure if I love it on a tuna milk, but I'm getting ready to find out, because I don't think the last time was a proper representation. So, I'm having Island Wave Lemonade from Calypso. And I had this before and I love it so much. So therefore, I'm going to have some, whoo, going to have some of this once again. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the food. Please bless the food and anyone who cares to come in and visit with me today. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, got a few potato chips on the side. Got a little, uh, little pickle on the side. All right, so here we, go. here we go with this tuna milk with flimsy bread. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> now that was an unexpected thrill because mm, I found out that I don't know why this is but Seems like people on YouTube love to have a, ch a cheese pull, and I don't know. Ooh, that tastes good. I don't know if it's because people love to see it, or the people who who are eating it just love to do that. I don't know what's what's up with that. Probably because I'm not a big cheese fan. Maybe if I love cheese like a lot of people do, then maybe I would know what that was all about. <laughs> but anyway. Mm. So let me tell you this. This is much better than last time, absolutely. The bread was too thick last time. And it was unexpectedly so because what I got inside the box was not what was on the picture of the box. So I was really disappointed. But let me tell you one other thing. You might know this, you might not. Like if you want to have you some garlic bread but you don't have no... special bread or you don't have any um, garlic spread and you can just put butter on your bread and then sprinkle some garlic powder on there because I tried that one time 
And I didn't know if it was going to make a difference. And it absolutely made a difference. And so that's my little trick that I gave you today for free. Just in case you didn't know that. Mmm. Yeah, this is way better than last time. Way better. Mmm. Um, hmm. One other little little um, secret ingredient. That's probably not a secret. You guys probably already know. But if you have you some good lemon pepper. And you put it on your tuna. But not too much because you know lemon pepper has salt in it. So not too much. We gave it a real nice kick. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Remember these five dollar rings from um from when I was selling paparazzi jewelry? They still jamming nine thousand. Still after all these years. Still jamming after all these years. Did I say they were only five dollars? Mmm, that drink is good. Why am I saying that? Mmm. But I will say this. Yeah. This bread is flimsy. Did I say it only cost a dollar? Paid a dollar for a whole loaf of bread. And I was mighty, mighty glad to do so. <clears throat> they had some fancy bread. Oh, yes, they did. Mmm. But... I'm cutting down on frivolous impulse spending. If I want it on Monday, I'm waiting till Friday to see if I still want it. I'm not going to just jump up and buy it. Just because I got free shipping on Amazon and just because I don't feel like driving to the store. And just because we having a pandemic and it's, and it's more convenient to order than it is to go get it. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. That don't matter. Mm. No, no, no. Do I still really, really, really want it by Friday? And furthermore, when Friday comes... Do I even need it? Or should I wait until I do need it? Like this hair product that I ordered. I'm sure it's two thousand when I get it. If I, if I feel like it or if I think about it or if somebody say in the comment section that they want to see it, then I might show it to y'all. Oh uh, yeah, this is good. And I use albacore tuna. But I got a little mixed up about 
which tuna has the most mercury because I thought they see it that the regular tuna has more mercury than albacore and then mmm good and then I thought I heard somebody say the albacore is the one that has the most so I don't know do you know Mmm. I use the zesty lemon pepper that I got from Buffalo Wild Wings. Nice. At least it is in this tuna. I don't know what it is to do for some chicken. I really don't know. I think the tuna and the potato chips is giving this lemonade a different kind of twang. But it tastes a little bit like a delicious tropical wine. Mmm. I hate to see the end of this sandwich. But to tell the truth, the last sandwich that I had, the last tuna milk, I was happy to see that sucker go. It, was, it wasn't going down that easy. You know, some of us don't like to throw away food. That's like throwing away money, right? So, I ate it anyway. But that thick bread was hard. It was difficult going down, I gotta tell you. Well, I don't have to tell you, but I'm just gonna confess. Mmm. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. -mm. This tuna right here is so good. Not even the cheese could mess it up. <laughs> mm hmm Oh, yeah. Mm. So. That's pretty much it. Yeah. <clears throat> Mission accomplished. Tuna melt is a good thing. And I think if you don't have any any cheese, a hot tuna sandwich is just as good. Just don't put it on thick bread. Mmm. <laughs> Unless you just like to be here. Okay, all right. Thank you. Roger that.